welcome to the fourth episode of Elevate with Ankara that is being hosted by myself and Sheree of Sheree Thomas. My name is Alicia and I also go by Creativity by T and if you're new to watching the channel I do welcome you and I hope you consider subscribing and thank you to all of my returning subscribers for coming back and for your continued support. So if you don't know what the Elevate with Ankara series is, it is a series that is dedicated to Ankara fabrics when it comes down to sewing and crafting. So far within this series, we have published an introduction video that goes over more information about the series and what you should expect from it. And we have also shown our Ankara fabric stash, which listen, <laughs> we've got a lot of beautiful fabrics in our stash. So you definitely want to check out that video. And you definitely want to check out Cherie's video too. And we have also had an exclusive video with one of our favorite Ankara fabric stores, which is CJ from House of Mommy Wanta. You definitely got to check that video out as well. You don't want to miss it because it was absolutely awesome and it just brought so much light to the history behind Ankara fabrics and just any of the questions you, you may have thought of in yourself but didn't have the answers to when it relates to that type of fabric so again definitely we want to check that out so if you haven't seen any of those videos I will go ahead and put a link in the description box below so that you can check out those videos and I will also put it at the end card at the end of the video so you don't have to click on it you can just let it play at the end if you wish but in today's video I will be sharing how to elevate a button down top with Ankara fabric and I will also be sharing the different patterns that would be perfect for the project. I do want to say that the patterns that I picked for you is to give you an idea of what you would look for within a pattern to elevate a pattern with Ankara. Again, I've said this earlier, this series is specific to Ankara fabrics, but it, you don't have to use Ankara fabrics. So you can just kind of use your imagination. You may want to use this application with polka dots, you know, if you like polka dots or stripes or whatever, you know, but basically it's just kind of of a base, you know, to kind of get you started. And the reason why I am sharing um, how to elevate a button down top is because that will be Sheree and I's next project for this series, okay? So we will be sharing our completed project for our button down top on the 20th of December. So you definitely want to make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that. Okay. So again, I am going to be sharing a few patterns and how I would utilize them to elevate Ankara fabric. And if you see a pattern that you like, and if you want to follow along and make one of the patterns, go ahead and definitely participate. Tag us on Instagram, tag us here on YouTube, and we will definitely showcase you because, you know, we just want to see all of the creations, okay? So for this first pattern that I would like to share with you on how to elevate Ankara, this is Simplicity 9646, and the pattern description is Mrs. Button Down Tops. I really like this pattern. I like that it is an easy to sew pattern, as you can see right here. And I like that this is a pattern that is good for both seasons because of the sleeve options. You have you see here that is sleeveless and then you have your nice balloon sleeves that have drop shoulders. So I really like that because I'm a drop shoulder fan. Um, there are two different views for the collar. So there's a more squared option like what the model is wearing right here. And then view B or no view A is has a more rounded collar so you do have options as far as that goes now how would i elevate this button down top with me as far as using in Kaura, i feel like you have several options you always have the option of just using all ankara fabric because ankara itself in my opinion elevates the look but if you're one that just maybe for a particular print you don't want all Ankara or if you just want to change it up a little bit you can always have the sleeves in Ankara 
and the collar to match and uncover and just do like the front and the back in a solid color or you could simply do the opposite you could have the front and back in Ankara and have the sleeves and the collar in a solid color so to me that is how you would elevate this particular pattern so the fabric suggestions on this pattern are going to be your chambray cotton lawn cotton blends gingham eyelet and linen blends poplin and shirtings so it's definitely suitable for Ankara fabric and here are the line drawings in the back so you could definitely like print off the line drawings from the patterns that you're using and you can just kind of color it in based off of what your fabric looks like to get an idea of how it will look like as well and i'll go ahead and move on to the next pattern so the next pattern that i have in mind is vogue 1904 and the pattern description for this is mrs dress and tunic and because we are talking about button down tops i'm going to eliminate <laughs> view a which is the dress and we are going to focus on view b which is your tunic so with this top it has a neckband front plackets with snap or optional buttons stitched hems and optional ribbon trim so one of the differences already between this pattern and the previous pattern is that there is a separate placket the placket for the simplicity pattern that i just showed is built into the top so there's extra fabric that you would fold over so there's really no option to contrast your placket and that's what i like about this option so as far as elevating this with ankara you can see basically how the model looks you can do the same exact thing you can make something in a solid like how this model has on solid brown and you can put on car here on the sleeve bells and in this yoke area and it would look perfectly great i like that or you can change up that style and you could have the front and back in ankara along with the front the top portion of the sleeves and then you can put the rest like these bells and this here in the solid color and maybe even the placket in the solid color or the collar band so you have many many options here of how you can elevate this look with the Ankara um, I would say that you can use all Ankara you can absolutely do that but I think it would take away from the line designs like for me I would go to one of the color blocking options and I would really use the placket and the sleeves and the that yoke area to elevate that look now the model also has this trim on hers so you could actually make this in a solid color you could possibly make this in a solid color and you can add Ankara trim. There's so many options with this pattern. So that is why I really, really like it. And I know we said that we weren't gonna focus on the dress, but the dress has a different sleeve on it. You can see this sleeve here. You could actually use this sleeve and put it on the tunic. And then you have three sections within your sleeve to play with Ankara. Like I said, just uh, endless uh, options here with this particular pattern and the one thing I will say is this is not Ankara but this is a design so you know what we're speaking of here you know elevating Ankara you can always do this with other prints if you're a person that likes prints but you don't want a lot of it you can you know do stuff like that on um, you know this pattern or similar patterns you know but you know for the sake of this video in this series we're just referencing to Ankara so here are the line drawings in the back for the top so as you can see the top is solid just you know no pleats or, or darts or anything in the back the front has front darts here and you know the line drawings it's just really really good so you have a clear idea of what you're going to get into and again that is vogue 1904 and then i have macaws 8284 and this is another dress and top pattern and again we are going to be focusing on the top so what i like about this pattern are the options that are closer to the top half of the dress which is going to be your collars and the ruffle so this is a really nice big collar here on view a and then you have this ruffle here on view b i feel like with this pattern you could use 
all Ankara, but I feel like color blocking this pattern will really, really bring it out. So like for view B, which is the pink here, you could have the front and back in Ankara, and you could have your sleeves in solid and have your ruffle in Ankara, or you could have your ruffle and your sleeves in Ankara, and then you can have your front and back in solid. That's just the way that I would pair it up um, because I just feel like like this upper part of the top on view B is part of the front and back. So I would just make sure that I did the opposite of what I did on the front and back to this ruffle because I feel like it would make it stand out even more. Um, and that's like I said, if you decide to block it and not do all Ankara. You can also use the sleeves from the dress view D here and you could utilize the cuff to help with the color blocking as well. So, you know, you do have quite a bit of options on here. I think any option that a person would use would turn out great. Um, with view A, I would do something similar. View A is the red on top. And I would probably just do the front and back in one, either the Ankara or some kind of a solid print, or it could be another Ankara print. You don't have to just do solid and Ankara. You could do Ankara and a different Ankara that kind of coordinates with each other. And then, you know, the sleeves the same as the collar. So the fabric suggestions are going to be your cotton blends, poplin, chalet, crepe back satin, and I would definitely do this in a cotton because that's what Ankara is. And here are the line drawings in the back for the tops. And then here's the line drawing in the back for that sleeve that I was referring to with the cuff. So I hope you like the patterns that I've picked out, but please let me know what your thoughts are about these patterns in the comment section below and which one you like best and which one you think I should make. I will be getting started on this project probably within a week and I will be revealing which shirt or top I should say that I have made on December 20th. That is a Tuesday, so keep your calendars marked for that video. And again, make sure you check out Cherie's video because she's gonna be sharing different patterns with us, okay? I am gonna go ahead and close out this video, but before I do, you already know what I'm getting ready to say. Please take a pause for the cause and click the like button and the subscribe button and the gray notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my new and returning subscribers for your support. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.